Welcome everyone to this update of LTO link time optimizations here with GCC. We made a live stream the other week with some results and the updated results are here. And uh, what I've done because people in the comments said run with LTO equals whatever number of threads and that is what I tried here with LTO 16 because this runs then the final link in multiple threads in parallel and obviously speeding up the fine linking then because in the time of link time optimization this often is a program so the fine linking has quite some stuff to do and which is why the initial build times were so much slower. So how much did LTO FLTO equal 16 gain here? This is this line. So in some cases quite a lot although it is still way slower but sometimes it speed the final linking up a little bit. You see here BSIP2, well, not even a second, but it's a small sample and horizon. But here some, in some cases, GNU PG from 23 seconds. So this was not here some, I think I even have rerun this run here just in case. So this was not a one-time occurrence, but at least with LTO equals 16, this sped things up quite significantly here in that case also set standard actually with uh, set standard with a modern more modern code base it was actually then one of the faster runs here actually so yeah the your mileage varies widely from can be a little bit faster to um, it is faster we have a couple of more interesting results so let's just check what we are actually showing here so more interesting results because we obviously always run this here with uh, new details for you to share. The other detail here, I've done some extra pain to do the same with ceiling, with clang. That is this line here on the top. And as you see, LTU works similar for ceiling also. So why have I not done this with the initial run? I've not done this because for that you need bin utils with a gold plug-in. The details are here on this side. And when I read this kind of esoteric stuff, like, yeah, it doesn't work uh, out of the box, but built it that way and with this plugin and yada, 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 then you lose my in interest often, at least sometimes nowadays, rather quickly. So if you want this with LLVM, Clang Clang or whatever you want to pronounce that, here is some introduction. However, I've not even done it that way because bin utils and gold and stuff you lost me there already so what i've done actually from the other videos with running a cc a gcc less built with ceiling and llvm with musilipsy that looks quite promising just for the non-gnu system lovers there so i've actually done i've actually used the llvm linker that is lldb and uh, that worked surprisingly as well then or surprisingly well somewhat sort of not completely trouble free but at least it worked without going through all the gold plug-in stuff so this line ceiling lto link time optimizations with the llvm linker state of the art so to say and the results here are similar for bsip2 build time inc increased significantly also gnu pg so this is not some outliner here the same for ceiling um was similar magnitude of um, longer compile times, longer build times. And yeah, also here you see though lame was, but maybe lame, actually this was not, we need to be careful here. This might not resulted, uh, I think both of those did not finish. So we need to actually delete this one. So yeah, also ceiling LLVM, it works. And um, yeah, but your mileage may vary. Also I've done, one run here with OS size optimization. Um, build times here just similar to O2 LTO. So here just a similar increase of time. However, wrong key. The results are interesting. So for ceiling, if we take a look here, the new Clang results. So not really that much you also see. So this didn't link uh, successfully. Um, yeah, LL, uh, L, LD, linker, you name it. However, the results here are similar for set standards. So we have here faster set standard with LTO. Uh, by the way, the results, the uh, 
results here with GCCO2 link time optimizations parallel not are relatively similar probably in the sorts of measurement accuracy I've run this Ryzen here with um, CPU frequency scaling of um, what is it uh, whatever on demand so I probably could have slightly more reliable results with performance uh, clocking this to the highest performance state but I usually run this stuff energy efficient on demand so maybe in the future I could repeat this but anyway this might this on demand scheduling might slightly uh, certainly introduce some random scaling there but you see the results are anyway relatively relatively reproducible here so for OS uh, also so when if you look here the the results here are pretty similar also we have the results here for the size so the size are quite reproducible surprisingly this parallel linking only here in libmed this differed in I think it was libmed or one benchmark here it's slightly over yeah so libmed a couple of bytes differently for threaded versus non-threaded but otherwise the runtime results are also pretty identical if you link here in parallel and OS the results are similar not necessarily faster actually in the size optimization link time optimization here more mostly a little bit slower and if we take a look on ceiling sometimes just a tiny little bit faster here two seconds at standard one second um, GNU PG so yeah we have reproducible results it can be slightly faster it can be slightly slower it can be the binary size can be slightly uh, smaller but it can also be significantly larger here in case of libmed for some reason for example but also to my surprise one benefit here is that size optimization indeed really resulted consistently here or at least except the outliner here libmed all other tests resulted in a significantly well 10% or 5-10% smaller binary size here if you are intro, interested in this kind of thing I'm surprised that the reduced binary size does not result in improved performance but maybe for something like a transmitter efficient crucial or Intel Atom or maybe something like an SG Octane or P3 here maybe that would be slightly faster with the reduce in binary size one last note um, as you have seen I don't have results for ceiling because this didn't link I can also show you how this didn't link so that would be ceiling 02 for example libmed um, I guess one of those here libmed ceiling LTO so usually this doesn't link here because not running the linker as specified this could be fixed just I don't have enough time today um, then it says here usually then file format not recognized because the GNU linker is not recognizing the internal ceiling or GCC format and another note that I found is slightly funny so I tried to also run ceiling size optimized however that didn't work at all because of a really strange bug here that apparently the linker X also receives in the optimization dash OS here for size optimization and to my surprise the linker does not uh, accept and parse here the plugin opt equals OS it complains here with number expected but got S yeah no shit Sherlock we optimized for size so that is an S so you really wonder there is such a huge industry and so famous developers and companies working on this and then simple stuff doesn't work um, you wonder don't they have a test suit for that maybe I could theoretically try to fix this in in hours time just that the ceiling LLVM code base is so huge that is a problem with this huge code base is like Rust uh, ceiling LLVM I'm not the most motivated but this looks like maybe it could theoretically be a low-hanging fruit to fix this which is also what we are here on this YouTube channel ideally my my mission and my vision here is to improve this open source stuff so we could if if we would have had more than three dollar 
AdSense revenue I could now sit down and try to fix this. The only thing is I often looked into CLang LRVM code and often was so full with C++ templates that even if I find the place in the code relatively quickly, it could be that it is not easily changeable because of the nature of this often very static C++ templates for argument parsing and whatsoever. So maybe it's like some template argument int integer and I couldn't even get there simply a string like s or something in there. So yeah, if you want to fix this, be my guest. Otherwise, if you want to support me spending all this time after 20 years uh, fixing all the small stuff, so much to the Debian people always telling me we do here nothing, everything just works here. Yeah, this is my life for 20 years. You try to compile something GCC3 when it was new or all this fun stuff and stuff just doesn't work like it should. Anyway, I will most likely, well, although I don't find still the, the results the most impressive, but we can check what we have in the audience here in, in comments. Leave me in the comments, do you find those results impressive? Um, if you read news like Foronix, it always sounds like amazing, but is it really amazing? Leave me in the comments below what you take from these results. Let's see what we have in the live chat. Uh, welcome everyone, you dropping frames here, yeah, unfortunately, 16% drop frames, sorry for that. Um, you can thank Vodafone Cable Doxis stuff here, we have 500 Mbit down, 50 Mbit up, but that's not enough to, could also actually, maybe it's not uh, Vodafone, it could also be that YouTube is just so overloaded and saturated with all the hundreds, thousands of creators live streaming. And um, uh, Mr. Um, Mel, so watch man coding and feel programmer too. That is uh, fantastic. I also try to motivate people, so I'm not really sure always. So the problem is I always feel like, hey, I could sit down now and try to find this bug here and make LL, uh, LLD, um, what is this here, um, LTU, link time optimization work with size optimization. But then again, it could take hours, the results. Uh, I, I could easily sit an hour or two and still couldn't get that to work. So yeah, don't forget to share like and subscribe to motivate me, look into all those open source bugs. I will, however, uh, also look out for your comments, what you take from the results. And most likely we do not yet have a option in our T2 system for T2 automated Linux and open source cross compile Linux distribution goodness I will most likely add an option just for the sake of it well, let's see do we have how many changes do we have in this t-trunk the problem is I have from all the um, from all the systems usually yeah you see pretty off also should probably run here SVN up after a couple of days um, most likely actually we're pretty much SVN up which is cool um, I will most likely add an option and then most likely uh, like in, in T2 configuration, which actually looks like this, if you want to build your own Linux distribution or target system, embedded systems and this fun stuff. And I will most likely add an LTO option here for easy access to this kind of compiler optimization. And because I already know that many packages will not just build due to all this esoteric assembly and, and whatnot kind of stuff that uh, we will also need to mark packages, for example, bzip2 right now is a little bit alien, and then this will most likely require here like fpick quirk for all old fashioned, fashioned stuff. So we have no parallels, so this would probably then no LTO, I guess, for no link time optimizations. So yeah, maybe I spent an hour at an option there, and um, I still want to install this GNU less non GCC only ceiling musil super much smaller system and I wonder actually maybe just for the fun of it I should rebuild it with link time optimization and before that fix the LLDB to accept size optimization. Anyway you see so many details the picture is often not that clear you want to take a look on something and you compile this and the results are not the most amazing not the most consistent. I hope you learned something and enjoyed this live stream. Don't forget to share like and subscribe and I hope to see you soon for all the next videos and live streams to come.